everyone. I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to come to you and break down last night's game between the Cleveland Guardians and the New York Yankees. Um, going into last night's game, both teams were really struggling offensively. Um, since they last met in Cleveland a few weeks ago, uh, the Guardians had averaged 3.3 runs per game, and the Yankees had averaged 3.2 runs. Um, both starting pitchers had been struggling. Uh, they had high ERAs. Both of them had ERAs over five. So um, you were thinking going in that maybe it was a chance for the offenses to get going. Well, the Yankees looked like they were getting ready to put the game out of reach in the third inning. Cal Quantrill was starting for Cleveland, and he gave up two runs in the bottom of the third, and it could have been much worse. Um, but he was able to minimize the damage, and he was able to get out of the inning, and he eventually settled in and ended up pitching into the eighth inning. So really good outing by Cal Quantrill last night. Um, Domingo Herman for the Yankees was outstanding. I mean, Cleveland could not touch him. He gave up only two hits. He walked one batter, struck out six, and the two hits he gave up was in the first inning and ninth inning. Um, but as I was watching the telecast, the commentators were mentioning something that was interesting to me. It was the sixth inning, and the Yankees had a reliever up in the bullpen. But Domingo Herman had only thrown like 50 pitches up to that point. So I was kind of scratching my head like, Domingo Herman is pitching the best game of his career up to this point, And he's one base runner away from being out of this game. And I think Aaron Boone, the Yankees manager, had the mindset of um, it's a low-scoring game, and Domingo Herman has had his rough spots early in this season, and he was probably thinking to himself, I don't want to let this one get away. Well, Domingo Herman kept cruising. I mean, he was cruising into the ninth inning. Um, the Yankees still led 2 to nothing, and he struck out Miles Straw, and then Stephen Kwan, the Guardians' leadoff hitter, uh, stepped up, and um, if you're not too familiar with Stephen Kwan, he is a great bat-on-ball contact hitter. Um, he's not going to try to hit the ball out of the ballpark. He doesn't, he doesn't do that a whole lot. He only hit six home runs as a rookie last year, but he hit almost 300, and he was a great leadoff hitter and a big reason why they um, were successful down the stretch and made the playoffs. But he gets up in the ninth inning and lines a single with one out to get the tying run to the plate. Now, keep in mind, at this point, Domingo Herman is only at 88 pitches, but Aaron Boone decides to pull him anyway and bring in his closer, Clay Holmes, since the Guardians now have the tying run to the plate. And, um, again, it was a move that was kind of puzzling, but uh, Aaron Boone had given Herman a very short leash, and he brought in Clay Holmes, and that's when things went downhill. Um, Rosario reached on an error, followed by a Jose Ramirez single, and then before you knew it, Josh Naylor was up, and he tied the game with a two-run single. Um, so Aaron Boone goes back to his bullpen and brings in uh, left-hander Wandy Peralta, and he walks Josh Bell to load the bases. And um, Andres Jimenez comes up, um, had been a clutch hitter all year long last year, um, he was one of the best in the business at hitting with runners in scoring position. This year, it's taken him a little bit of time to get going, and he struck out on three pitches. And then Mike Zanino, their catcher, steps up to the plate with the bases loaded and two outs, and he had been struggling all night long against Domingo Herman. He had struck out three times, and it was not a pretty at-bat. Well, he ends up working the count full, and he fouls off a few tough pitches, and then he takes what looked like a little slider down and in. It didn't miss by much, but he took it for ball four, and the Cleveland Guardians took a 3-2 to two lead, and then Emmanuel Classe, their closer, came in and shut the door. Um, the biggest takeaway from this game, and I think where a lot of people are blaming this Yankee collapse, is on manager Aaron Boone. And, um, you know... Coming from a Cleveland perspective, I can't say I blame Yankees fans for being really mad at Aaron Boone because um, Domingo Herman was pitching a really good game. They could not touch him, and um, so it was just very puzzling when Boone moved him, removed him from the game when he was so locked in. And one thing about it, whenever a pitcher is going so well, and a manager decides to pull him from the game because he's given him a short leash, that immediately gets a little bit of life into the dugout. And when Rosario reached 
to get on base and put the tying run on first base, you could feel the momentum start to shift then because Jose Ramirez was coming up and Cleveland just felt like they had a fighting chance. And they hadn't had a runner in scoring position all night. And um, they just were grinding out at bats in the ninth inning. They put up three runs. They come back. They get a big win over the Yankees. And um, they just reminded everybody that even when they're struggling, like the way they have been recently, they don't quit. Um, last Saturday, uh, they were playing the Red Sox. We're down 6-1. to one, And the, uh, they, come, they come back. They eventually took the lead in the 10th inning, but they couldn't hold it. And the Red Sox came back and won the game. Last night was a much different story. They went out there, they were down 2 nothing. they were dead all night offensively, and they go out there and they come away with the win, and um, hopefully that is what turns the momentum for them and um, allows them to uh, start to get closer to the Twins. So I just want to share that with you guys. Uh, let me know what you uh, think of these breakdowns. Um, I'm not going to do them very often. I'll only do them after um, a really good comfort behind win or just a crazy game like uh, last night, for example. And um, so if you're new to the channel, uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.